Hello everybody, it's DK, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial here on the channel, where today we're going to take a look at block swappers and use that technology to make a bubble elevator. Now, if you don't know what a block swapper is, block swappers are really cool because I have this pl pressure plate here, and if I step on it, you can see that it switches the block right here out for a crafting table. And once I'm done with the crafting table, it swaps it back out and the block is flush with the floor. Now, this is useful in and of itself if you're wanting a nice clean aesthetic, but what if we were to use this to make a bubble elevator so that we could only have one column of water going up instead of two? Well, that's what we're going to do today. So let's take a look at the materials that you're going to need and hop into today's build. All right, so for today's build, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to need a variety of items, uh, which include a stone pressure plate, some building blocks. I've just got a stack. Uh, you're gonna need a stack of glass. You're gonna need a magma block, a block of soul sand, two redstone repeaters, a bucket of water, eight redstone dust, three sticky pistons, two redstone torches, and four redstone comparators. And with that, let's hop into the build. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off by digging out an area because I want my block swapper to be completely underground and I don't want it to be visible. I want this all flush with the floor. Now, if you're okay with having to raise your platform up a little bit, you don't need to dig out this big of an area. But the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take some of our building block and we're going to find our center column right here. We're going to place a block down. We're going to place a sticky piston on top of it, and then we're going to place our two blocks that we want right on top as well. So I'm going to start off by placing a magma cube, and then my soul sand, in that order. Just like this. Now, once I'm done with this, I'm going to come over to this side of my block, or of my sticky piston, place down another block, I'm going to place a redstone torch on top of it, and I'm going to place a piece of redstone dust on top of that. And after I'm done with that, I'm actually going to do one more. I'm going to go and place a redstone block right here. And I'm going to place a redstone torch on top of it. And you'll notice that this unpowers this redstone torch at the bottom here. This is exactly what we want. So this is the first step in creating your block swapper. Now, after you've done that, you're going to take another one of your sticky pistons. You're going to take it and place it directly on top of this redstone torch, which can be very, very, very tricky but we want it to do exactly this right here. We want it to extend out and touch our soul sand. And once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually pretty close to being done with this block swapper. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our uh, building block and we're gonna come out just like this. And we're going to place our stone pressure plate on top of this block right here, or on top of whatever block that you want to place it on. I'm placing mine right here because it matches up with the end of mine. And once we've done that, we're going to create a little bit of a tower effect here. So I'm going to come down a block, just like so, and place another building block right here, place some redstone dust on top of that, and now what we want to make sure happens is we want to make sure that when this block gets pulled back and the magma block gets pulled up, that it stays there long enough for me to actually be able to get to where I need to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna extend this block out to the corner here. And we're actually gonna extend everything out until the point where it's gonna touch right here on this block. And so I'm just gonna take and extend this out just like so. I'm going to take my redstone dust and extend it right here. And I'm also going to throw a repeater in here just to make sure that the signal is nice and strong. But I'm going to come out to this side and I'm going to place some, com some comparators. And I'm going to place three comparators, just like so, facing one direction and then the other direction, kind of like they're making a clock. And I'm going to take some redstone dust and place it just like this. Now, what this is going to do is when I step on this pressure plate, it's going to send the signal out that's going to swap the blocks out, 
but it's not going to swap back until all of the redstone has left this comparator, until the signal has died down from the comparators, which is going to take quite a long time. So if I come down, it's going to look just like this. So it swaps, I step off, and we wait, and then it finally switches back. Now, we need to do one thing here, and the one thing that we actually need to do is uh, we need to swap these. So I want to have my magma block up top and my soul sand underneath, just to make sure that this is gonna work properly. And once you're done with this section, ladies and gentlemen, you are pretty much done with the block swapper portion of this build. Once you're done with this, you can take and very simply just fill in the rest of this area with your building block to make sure everything stays nice and covered up. All right, so after we're done with this, ladies and gentlemen, we are actually ready to start building the bubble elevator. So for this section, you're going to need your glass and your water bucket and your building blocks. And that is all you're going to need for this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off, we're just gonna build a nice little contained section just like this. And all I'm gonna do is every time I build up a layer, I'm going to add in some water just like this because I want to make sure that every time I go up that the water block right here is a source block uh, because if it's not my elevator is not going to work and I'm going to end up stuck in the middle and I'm going to drown so we can make this as tall as we want to you just need to be very careful that as you extend this up you're going to need to extend the length of time that your block swapper is active for Oh no. So let's take this up one more level, just like so. And once we've taken this up to the height that we want it to, we can create ourselves a nice little platform here. And I'm not gonna create anything that's too amazing. I'm just gonna extend this out, just like so. Boom. And just like that, now we have a bubble elevator where if I come down just like this, it will take me all the way to the bottom. There's only a problem. One problem. I have no way to get out. So, in order to get out of here, you're going to need to grab yourself a door. Doesn't matter what kind of door, any kind of door will work. And you're going to have to do this section very, very quickly. Because you're going to break these two blocks and place down a door just like so. And with that, ladies and gentlemen... Our block swapper bubble elevator is ready to go. So all I have to do now is open the door, step on the pad, it shoots me up to the top, and we actually could have made this a little bit taller because now it'll put me back down to the bottom and I can go straight through. And just like that, you have a fully functional bubble elevator that not only will take you up a tremendous amount of blocks, but will make it so that it automatically swaps itself out so you no longer need two separate elevators one with a magma block and one with soul sand you can just make one elevator that takes you up and then as soon as you get to the top it will drop you back down and with that ladies and gentlemen this is all the time i have for today's episode so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you found this tutorial helpful if you did please make sure and let me know down in the comments below let me know what you'd like to see me build next in my redstone testing world and if you really liked everything, please make sure and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe because it helps out the channel a ton and you get to see more of the fun hijinks and projects that we do on this channel. I'm DK. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!